All new at 11 with Super Bowl weekend here. South Florida's airports are dealing with an extra crush of visitors. Many are using a rideshare app to get picked up. Yet the system at MIA has taken heat for being confusing and chaotic. As CBS 4's Ted Scouten reports, the airport knows it and is now working on some changes. Hailing an Uber or Lyft from Miami International Airport can be confusing. It is kind of chaotic. Everybody's trying to get home or where they're going on a cruise or to the hotel. And then cars are coming here. I guess locals picking up, let's see, Uber and Lyft. So it is confusing. With Super Bowl just days away, 30,000 more passengers are expected to fly into Miami this weekend alone, adding to the 70,000 who already come in and out of the airport daily. Until recently, it was difficult for passengers to see the signs to figure out where their ride share would pick them up, especially at the busy North Terminal. Okay, I guess it's supposed to be over there, but sometimes they pick over here. Oh, I didn't know that. They always pick me up from here. So it is a little bit confusing. So I have to go there. Now you see the signs that says ride app pickup. Just before Christmas, realizing there was confusion, the airport put up better signage showing exactly where passengers can catch their ride. The sign from there says to come here for the, the app pickup, rideshare app pickup. Seems simple. Do you find it confusing to try and figure out where to go to get the rideshare? I thought it was pretty easy, but I'm used to doing it at O'Hare, so it's pretty much the same. And I just texted my driver and told him where we were. Jackie Wentz was in the right spot, but what we found, many times it's the drivers who are confused. So we're at the side where the lift is supposed to be picking up, but it looks like, as you suggested, that he's in the other lane. Here's how it's supposed to work at the North Terminal. The first lane is for cabs. The second is for family and friends who are picking up passengers. The third lane is for rideshare apps. And the last is for hotel shuttles. We're working on that messaging of getting ride app pickups to go to that designated area. It's still a work in progress, and we're trying to be flexible with the ride app drivers to uh, position them in the right place. In some cases, drivers are not only picking up passengers in the wrong lane, but even stopping in traffic to load suitcases and people. You're kind of in traffic over there. Yes, and dangerous, I think, for everybody. At Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport, rideshare pickup is in designated areas away from other airport traffic. MIA can't use that system because of space constraints. So the push is to improve the process of getting passengers and drivers to the same meeting spot, which airport officials admit could take some time. And I think the drivers will catch on when they see that the passengers are in one location and sometimes they're in another lane and they're not connected with those passengers and that's impacting their business and their operations. These signs have been up for just over a month. Airport officials say they're monitoring them very closely, keeping an eye on them to see if it gets passengers and drivers together more efficiently. If not, they said they're ready to make some tweaks or add new signs if they have to. At Miami International Airport, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News Tonight. And Miami International Airport just announced it's relocating the rideshare drop-off location for the day after the Super Bowl only. Passengers will now be dropped off at the rental car center and then take the, the people mover. And this is an attempt to streamline the departure process on Monday when MIA expects to set a single-day record. Well,